This is a jingle dress. A jingle dress can be worn by women and female children. They wear this to powwows and dance the jingle dress dance. The origin of the jingle dress is said to be from different Ojibwe communities. There are many stories from the different communities of how the jingle dress came about, but all of them involve coming from a vivid dream. One of the stories is that a father had a really sick child. In his dream, he was instructed on how to make the dress and how to dance. When he woke up, he had made the dress and put it on his sick daughter. When she danced in the dress, she began to get stronger and stronger, and soon she was healed. This is why the jingle dress is known as the healing dress. Many times people often give a jingle dress to dancers in exchange to allow people to heal who they care about or even themselves. All jingle dresses have jingle cones in rows on the skirt of the dress, as well as different patterns of jingle cones on the top of the dress. These jingle cones were originally made from rolling tobacco can lids, but can now be used from other metals. The traditional jingle dress was originally made using healthy colors such as red, green, yellow, black, and blue. In the 1980s, jingle dresses began having multicolors with different patterns. These are the more modern jingle dresses. Traditionally, the women who danced the jingle dress dance in powwows had a few rules. They were never allowed to cross their feet when they danced, they could not dance backwards, and they could not go in a full circle. The modern jingle dress dance allows women to cross their feet, dance backwards, and they can complete full circles. Even though both traditional and modern dresses and dances are different, you can see that the jingle cones on the dress always stayed the same. Many say that the spiritual power comes from the sounds of the jingle cones hitting each other which sing to the spirits. Many wear eagle feathers on them, as well as carrying a feathered fan in their hand. This is because they raise those fans during the honor beats of the song they are dancing to. Jingle dresses are also worn with moccasins, matching beaded leggings, a purse, and hair ornaments. We should make one. Fiona, we can't make that. Why not? We can't sew. Come on, let's try. Fine. To make a jingle dress, we needed to get inspired. And we thought, what better place to go than Winnipeg Trading Post, located on Main Street. This is a store where they sell handmade products, such as moccasins, dream catchers, jewelry, instruments, and even jingle dresses. We wanted to see how they made their dresses, as well as some of the styles and colors they used so we could make our own. Step 1. Make sure you know your measurements before getting your materials. Step 2. The materials you will need are jingle cones, blue ribbon, red fabric, yellow broadcloth, blue sequins, velcro, and yellow and black rickrack. But you can choose any color or style that you like. As you can see, we are in the middle of step three, which is us taking those measurements and creating two templates for the front and back of the top of the dress. dresses were originally made of cloth. Now they are usually made of leather, velvet, and satin. We used red satin to make our dress. Once the top of the dress was sewn together, we decided to put a yellow collar around the neck. We also added a tag on the inside to make it official.
Step 5. As the sewing was still happening, we decided to prep the yellow cloth and tie a knot on one end of it. Once that's done, we stuck the cloth through the jingle cone. Having a knot is essential, or else the jingle cones would always fall off the dress. Step 6. We are now creating a template for the bottom part of the dress. Once it's cut twice, we'll start sewing it together. Step 7. We are now pinning both top and bottom pieces together that we have made to be sewn into a dress. Step 8. We had some leftover red fabric and decided to make a belt with some designs on it for our dress. Step 9. We are now making the sleeves for our dress. We decided to use a different pattern than the rest of the dress to give it a nice special effect. Step 10. As you've just seen, I just held up a piece of red fabric. This is going to be looped around the waist of the dress where the belt would go. This will allow the belt to be held in place and not fall off the dress. Step 11. Once the looping was finally complete, we then added Velcro to the belt. This is so it would be easier to take off. Step 12. As you can see, we have blue ribbon in our hand. We are taking the blue sequins and sewing it on top of the blue ribbon to give it that nice special effect.
Step 13. Once that blue ribbon is finally complete, we will take the jingle cones we have previously prepped and place them underneath the blue ribbon. Then we will sew them onto the blue ribbon and then sew that onto the dress in different patterns. Did you know that on a child's jingle dress, there should be approximately 75 jingle cones and on an adult's dress, there should be over 100. Step 14. As you can see, we are taking those jingle cone strands and placing them along the dress anywhere we'd like. You can too. No two jingle dresses are exactly the same. They are all different in their own way. Step 15. We then added some rickrack onto the sleeves. And that is how you make a child's jingle dress. Man, what a lot of work. But it turned out so nice. Yeah, next time we'll make it on my side.